How's it going everybody? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with a quick video. Now today we're going to take a look at the point and click adventure, Thimbleweed Park. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at it. So, you know, this game here, um, you know, I, I more so wanted to sort of show this off. Uh, there's a guy that follows the channel here, Dads and Lads Gaming Marcus. He really enjoys his point and click adventures. I know his young his son there, Tommy, he, he's still sort of dipping his toe in the water, but I, I know he'll come around sooner or later. <laughs> so Thimbleweed Park, uh, just a quick little note on this. Uh, it was very much developed by Ron Gilbert uh, as a love letter to the original uh, Maniac Mansion game, uh, as well as Day of the Tentacle as well, which was the sequel to Maniac Mansion. So you've got it right here, uh, an adventure game by Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick. So the reason why I want to sort of show this off, when this game was announced, uh, I, was I was so excited to get a copy of this game, but there was no physical release for the Xbox One. Uh, so I actually, one of the few times that I've done this, I, I went out and bought the, uh, the big box variant for the PC, believe it or not. And I'll show you the contents in just a second. But I did want to just point out this game did get a physical release, I think through limited run games for the PS4. And what's most noteworthy is the uh, Nintendo Switch version of this game. It's uh, highly sought after, extremely collectible, fetches hundreds of dollars. And even the big box collector's edition variants of Thimbleweed Park, I checked online tonight, there's actually not that many floating around on eBay and the copies that are on there are going for well over north of $100 so so let me show you guys what's in the box here as I've never really showed this off on my channel so you get a lot of goodies and I think these came with the uh, Nintendo Switch collector's edition as well I'll go through this relatively quickly here you get a sticker here uh, a Reno Another sticker here. The signals are strong tonight. Again, you have to play the game to understand these references. Another sticker here, Thimbleweed Park City Limit. Pretty cool. It's a great game. Uh, I did manage to beat it. One of the best point and click adventures, in my opinion, of the last 25 years. You get a nice, uh, on newsprint, uh, just like in the game, you know, like a newspaper, uh, not going to show everything on it, but nickel news, just like in the video game, and it's it's on real newspaper as well. So yeah, it's really nice, really cool. I haven't actually sat down and really looked at this in depth. Maybe I'll do that this week. You know, I always say you buy these big box collections, and then you just sort of you get excited, you open it up, and then you put it away, and you don't look at it again. And that's the problem with these big box variants. So we have another. Uh, we have here, it's like the map of the game, I believe. So you have here Thimbleweed Park, Explore. Really nice collection, really nice. As I rip it apart. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm glad I picked this up though. And then we have uh, Marcus will like this. Uh, manual here, it's actually in black and white. Probably uh, an O to the original manuals uh, in the early 90s. I don't think they were always color. See, so, yeah, you can see here, black and white. It, uh, they probably did this for nostalgic reasons. So, yeah, pretty cool. Even has uh, the keyboard controls right here. And that's the next thing I want to get at is uh, I did install this game on my PC. It comes with an actual, I think it was a DVD of the game. I actually went out and bought a DVD drive just to install it because my laptop didn't have a DVD drive. So there you have it. It's pretty cool. Again, uh, I'll show you guys this here. So when you take out the, uh, the sleeve here, nice gateway color fold out the introduction of the game once you get to play it. Really cool. And uh, probably one of the coolest things that comes with this collection, you get uh, a nice little post-it 
It actually says uh, posted on it on the back as well. You can see that. But yeah, right here you get the uh, an actual floppy disk, 3.5 uh, diskette. And it actually works. You can put it into an old school computer. I can't remember what pops up. I don't know if it has to do with the soundtrack or hints for the game. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, it is a legit floppy disk. I thought that was really cool. So that's it. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else in there, but I mean, what more do you really want, right? That's, that's quite a bit in this collection. So that's it. I just wanted to quickly show off my limited edition, collector's edition, big box variant of Thimbleweed Park. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, something a little bit different. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.